In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Singapura cat. The Singapura cat is one of the lesser known breeds of cat, but it has an interesting history. It is also a notable breed in the sense that it is one of the smallest cat breeds in the world. If you've been dreaming of a tiny, beautiful cat breed that's smart and outgoing, you might have met your dream breed in the Singapura. While the origins of these feisty little cats might be a little murky, there's no denying that they have a character that's way larger than their diminutive size might suggest. They have incredible large eyes and sweet, engaging faces, so you might be fooled into thinking these little cats enjoy a quiet life. The truth is that they're not for everyone, so they might not be the best companion if you enjoy long lazy sessions. But if you're looking for an extroverted and clever cat who can always keep you entertained, you might have met your match. Here are some interesting facts about Singapore a cat. 1. Their origins have caused controversy. Although they are officially known to have come from Singapore, this is a subject that has caused controversy as the original cats used for breeding may have originated in the United States. Cat breeder Jerry Mays was visiting Singapore on a cat finding trip in 1987. While he was there, he came across the documentation relating to the three cats originally used for the foundation of the Singapore cat breed. He learned that the three cats had originated in the United States and were only taken to Singapore in 1974. As the cats had been born in the United States, lived in Singapore, and then returned to the United States to found the breed, there was controversy around the fact that the breed should be classified as having originated in the United States. 2. They can weigh as little as 4 pounds. This is one of the smallest cat breeds and a healthy adult female can weigh as little as 4 pounds. A healthy male cat will usually weigh around 6 pounds. Heavier examples of the Singapura cat can weigh up to 8 pounds. 3. Singapura's only come in one coat color. The distinctive coat color of the Singapura is often described as having a sepia tone, with the breed standard specifying that the pattern should be one of a tick tabby, comprising at least four bands of light and dark ticking. The darkest ticking should be across the back, fading out to an unticked tummy, the shade of old ivory. The reason for the Singapura's coat color is down to one gene, known as a goody. The coat ticking of this breed is one of the defining characteristics, leading to beautiful markings, including darker puma lines that extend from the inside of the eye and then across the cheeks. The shade of the Singapura's coat should be of warm tones, with glowing shades strongly contrasting each other. 4. Singapura Cats Exercise Needs These little cats love to exercise. Unlike some cat breeds who don't really have any specific exercise requirements, you'll need to set aside time every day to make sure your Singapura is sufficiently exercised. Whether that's playing with them using a variety of different toys, setting up an agility course for them in the backyard, or taking them to explore the backyard, these cats really do love exercising and playing. 5. They like high perches. A quirky feature of this cat's personality is that it likes to be in high places, so the owner should get a high cat perch for them. This is because the Singapore cat likes to have a good view of everything that is going on around them. 6. It is the mascot cat of Singapore. The Singaporeans are extremely proud of this cat and have even chosen it as the mascot for the country. It was selected by the Singapore Tourist and Promotion Board. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 7. They need little grooming. One of the benefits of choosing this cat is that they need very little grooming and do not shed a lot of hair. Brushing once or twice a month is sufficient and you do not need to bathe these cats. Generally, they will self-groom to an adequate standard with very little effort required on the part of the owner. 8. Singapore's Health Conditions Like most cat breeds, there are some health conditions with which this cat is associated. The most serious problem with which they can suffer is pyruvate kinase deficiency. This is a genetic disease where cats have a deficiency in producing an enzyme that supports red blood cell energy metabolism and can lead to hemolytic anemia. 9. They are sociable cats. People often choose this cat breed because of their pleasant nature. The Singapura cat is known as a sociable creature that enjoys the company of humans and other animals. They are loyal to their owners and love being stroked affectionately. 10. Singapura's temperament and intelligence. These little cats are brimming with intelligence and curiosity. This is an extrovert breed and will likely be found following you around the house rather than sleeping in a corner. That means you'll need to find plenty of activities to keep your cat entertained. Providing a variety of toys that they can play with both independently and with their families is a good idea to keep those active little brains well occupied. Singapura cats love interacting with their families to keep them entertained. 
A bored Singapura cat can sometimes turn their thoughts to destructive behaviors, including scratching furniture, knocking things over, and generally creating a bit of a mess. Their intelligent and curious natures mean that they're a great breed to spend time training. Whether you want to take your Singapura out on a harnessed walk or train them to play fetch, they'll love anything different that challenges their brains and keeps them on their paws. 11. Singapura Cats Training Some cats will give you a don't mess with me look if you suggest that they might enjoy a training session, but rest assured that the Singapura is not one of those cats. Their energetic natures and high intelligence makes them the perfect breed for cat training. Whatever you want to teach them, from fetching their catnip mouse to walking on a leash and harness, the world's your oyster when it comes to training these clever little cats. If you have kids, then a Singapura cat is the perfect companion. Their high energy levels mean they'll stay engaged and interested in training sessions for much longer than the average cat. Remember that you and your kids will have to get used to avoiding any loud noises when training these little cats. They might be bold and brave when it comes to most things, but loud noises will send them running for cover. 12. Food and Diet Requirements Singapores don't have any specific dietary requirements, so you can feed them any high-quality cat food of your choice. If you're buying a kitten from a breeder or have found an older Singapore and you want to rescue it, then make sure you find out what food they've been used to and see if you can source some of the same variety. Using the same food is a good way to make your new cat feel more at home, as well as minimizing the chances of them suffering from an upset stomach as they adjust to life in their new home. 13. Singapura Cats Are Good For Families The small yet feisty Singapura is a great choice as a family cat, with a few caveats. The breed is well known for being afraid of loud noises, so if you have younger children who don't yet understand how to dial back the volume, a Singapura might find this environment slightly stressful. The same can be said for loud neighbors, constantly barking dogs, or any home where the volume level could be considered above average. With that said, Singapuras are excellent family cats for older children who will love playing with them frequently while giving them plenty of the attention that they crave. They are also still rare and expensive, and highly prone to some inheritable illnesses due to inbreeding. This cat has a high energy personality that shines. The Singapura cat might be little, but the breed is certainly not delicate. If you think you've got what it takes to create the perfect home for a tiny Singapura, you won't regret it. You might just struggle to keep up with their impressive energy levels. The Singapura is tiny but large in personality. Her curiosity, friendliness, loyalty, and general good health make the Singapura a great choice as a family pet. It might be her looks that initially attract you to her, but it will be her personality that makes her unforgettable. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.